Hey to Morgans, it's Talisa coming back to you guys with another video and today's video is going to be my review on the Aaliyah Times Mac collection. I'm so so excited about this collection. I literally knew about it in like May and went crazy and couldn't wait for it. So I picked up four items from this collection. In this video I'm going to show you guys what I do with it and also rate the collection let you guys know my first impressions. So if you want to see how I got this look and also what I think about the collection. They just keep on watching. I went the day of that it opened at my mall, which was June the 21st. Four things from her collection. So I got three lippies. I got two lipsticks. And as you can tell, this is the packaging. I'm sure y'all have seen this, but if you haven't, it's a like dark plum purple packaging with uh this is like a silver writing and it just says her name and mac on it um so i got the color try again and it comes in this beautiful mac lipstick bullet and this is the nude so i'll swatch it on my hand i'm actually going to be wearing this one today i'm pretty sure but um just to swatch it to show you guys and the other lipstick I got is in Hot Like, and it's just a red. And this is the lighter red. It's not as dark. I think it's like a purplish red, plum red that she has in this collection as well. So I got those two. And then I got her gloss. I think she came out with four glosses. This one is called Brooklyn Born. And this is a beautiful shimmery champagne gold and this is how this one looks and i just knew from the jump that i would love this shade because i am a nude nude girl and this is how this one looks you can see it okay so those are the lippies i got and then i got the palette because i don't have a neutral type of cool song palette and i figured why not get it from Aaliyah? This is how the packaging looks. And this is called, what's it called? I think it's called Try Again. No, Age Ain't Nothing. So all of these names are inspired by her songs. So this is how it looks. It's just a little compact. And these are the shades. These are the shades. I actually really like this um, palette because it just kind of encompasses just some of her looks that she would wear and I know that she wore a lot of browns and cool tones and not a lot of color. Really, that's what I got from it. But yeah, so this is her palette. So the lip gloss was, lip glass was $17.50. The eyeshadow palette was $32 and then the lipsticks were $18.50, so. I bought your regular MAC pricing. So I went in with the brow pencil and then I went in with my Anastasia concealer and this was in the shade 6.0 and I just concealed the bottom of my brow because since I'm not wearing foundation, it just looks weird to have the top concealed. And then I went in with my e.l.f. translucent powder and set that concealer. So now it's time to get into this, this palette. So it comes with nine shades. No mirror, but the packaging is super cute and I love the colors. So I'm gonna go on with a Wet n Wild kind of concealer brush and I'm going to take the middle shade, which is this nude type of transition color shade, and I'm just gonna put that into my crease. And there's three mattes and like six shimmers. Mm, this is cute and I'm sure there's some product left over on my brush but I'm too lazy to clean them so I'm just gonna go with it I never used a MAC eyeshadow and I will say that this is blending super nice next I'm gonna go into the second type of brown shade I'm gonna take my Anastasia little brush I'm gonna put this into my crease. Yeah, these are pigmented. Okay, matte shadows. Mm. 
I like these shadows. Like I never used my shadows before. Ooh, this looks good. Can y'all like see that? This looks good. Mm, okay. I'm gonna go in with, I kind of want to do like a pink and gold eye, like for the lid. So I'm gonna take the pink tone right here on a dirty, just let you know it's dirty, um, flat brush. And this is from my Ipsy bag. This is the Luxie 249 brush. And it's gonna place this like kind of the outer right, <laughs> right beside the crease and a little bit in. Looking at these eyeshadows, people said they weren't that pigmented, but I didn't have to put down a base that was gonna like amplify these colors and it's showing up really good on my skin tone. I really hate that a lot of people didn't want to support this makeup line because they felt like MAC did Leah wrong. But, and yeah, sometimes stuff isn't done like you expect it to be, but I believe this uh, this collection did show who Aaliyah was compared to her makeup. Like she on everyday basis, she was not wearing those bright colors that she was wearing in her music videos and stuff like that. So it's just like if our family was okay with it coming out, why can't we? Like I've seen so many bad YouTube comments talking about I'm not gonna support this. I was gonna support it either way, like. I didn't need any more makeup, but I just still want to support her because it's like, y'all support Patrick though. So let's go into the gold. I'm just gonna take another dirty eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use this gold shade right here and put this on my inner corner. The inner part that's left open. Okay. This one doesn't seem as pigmented as the pink shade because I can barely see it. But we might have to put some Fix Plus down. Okay, it looks better on that side, so let me try swiping it. And then we're going to take a small little brush. I'm going to take the same gold shade. And I think I'm going to mix it with just a little bit of that type of champagne uh, other shade just to get a little lighter effect. And then put that in my inner corner. Yeah. Here. Yes. Ooh, that gold is pretty, y'all. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom waterline. So I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take this brown shade right here and put that on my bottom waterline. Now, one thing I do wish that this had a mirror because this is so compact, it would have been perfect. Like, just have a mirror, which you can see your reflection in it. Like, you can definitely see your reflection, but it's you can't see like exactly what you're doing as far as color wise, but okay. So I'm really excited about this lip color guys. I feel like it's gonna be like my go-to nude because I like looked at it and people my skin tone. So I'm not sure if I need a lip liner or not. So I'm just gonna go in without one. And I am tan right now. Girl, I went to the pool and all. <laughs> but I'm gonna see if I need a lip liner or not. Let's just go ahead and put this on. This one is try again. Yes, I'm out of breath. So yes, I'm gonna go with the little nano. So it's kind of ashy, and it's kind of like an ashy toned nude. Mm. Oh yes, this is cute. Mm, y'all, I found our new combo. Oh my god. And this lip glass is so nice. Like, oh, 
and this is the finished look of my review of the Aaliyah collection from MAC and I'm really really impressed with you guys I really really love how this look came out it's super super nice and simple it kind of reminds me of a Rihanna vibe because Rihanna doesn't always do these bright colored things but she also knows how to be natural and I love that about both of these ladies so I just love this look a lot I love this collection so I'm gonna go down the line and rate each product from 9 to 9 to 10 from um out of 10 so as far as the eyeshadow palette um like I said this is kind of it's very like an everyday eyeshadow palette and it has those pops of colors if you did want to try something different I thought like this palette is really good for somebody like me who is used to really using color with browns so it's a really nice palette very brown girl friendly and i love it so the only downfall would probably be the price if you don't want to spend 30 dollars on a small palette but this is mac honey so at least it ain't like a, another brand that nobody knows about as far as the lipsticks, I love both colors I got i can't wait to wear the red because i love red lips but this nude honey this nude love this nude this nude is bomb like this is well worth my 18 dollars i love this nude so much i love how it looks on my skin tone it's just beautiful it's beautiful and this gloss honey y'all already know the gloss pop you can just look at the gloss until it's popping so like i'm really really excited with this collection i'm so happy i got it i love it and i give this whole collection a 10 out of 10 i just wish that the um that the bronzer was more of a brown girl friendly shade and hopefully like if we can put in some votes then we can possibly get more stuff at to her collection but we'll just see but I think that is one of the downfalls that that shade is not gonna fit anybody black so um yeah or anybody with a deeper skin tone but overall for the things I got I give it a 10 out of 10 I love it I love Aaliyah and I love you guys too so thank you guys so, thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see a new video of mine make sure you say subscribe so you can see it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye